SpaceX has considered remodeling more structures at the Starbase to create something truly huge. It will be a groundbreaking edifice that will enlarge practically all of the structures at Starbase Boca Chica. What I'm talking about here is the whole renovation and enlargement of SpaceX Starbase and also the remodeling the high bay to something larger so that it can swallow the whole starship during construction. Keep watching to discover the renovation SpaceX has currently initiated at Starbase that will make SpaceX one of the most giant companies in the world. More high bays are required to assemble the super heavy rocket. Remember that SpaceX's first stage, which is extremely heavy, must be built in a high bay to shield it from environmental impacts that may cause structural damage or push it out of alignment. Due to that, SpaceX must begin mass manufacturing of the extremely heavy rocket. The company has begun clearing the area where these additional high bays will be constructed. Lest I forget, more Mechazilla capturing towers and catching arms will also be constructed to aid the company's progress towards its goal of delivering humans to Mars. Elon Musk is in a dire need to launch the Starship rocket to space as soon as possible. That is why he took the first step of creating a company that would change the world instead of procrastinating. So let's say Elon Musk was in a hurry to set up SpaceX initially, which is why almost all of the factories in the company are built in tents. Many other constructions are exposed to the public to see. This is why journalists can come from anywhere to visit the company and take a video shot of the activities going on even without the consent of SpaceX's management. Passerby can also stop and look at what is going on at Starbase. Because practically all structures are visible or, to put it another way, the building of the Super Heavy is frequently done publicly. The good news is that recently, SpaceX wants to build something incredibly huge and sturdy to keep the development process hidden. As a result, the company's first Starbase facility in South Texas may move from tents to more permanent facilities, which is likely a portent of things to come for SpaceX's embryonic Florida Starship factory. In late 2019, SpaceX followed in Tesla's footsteps and began constructing a shockingly complex factory out of a series of tents more than two years ago. On the other hand, SpaceX will be producing and assembling pieces of the largest and most powerful rockets ever made rather than Model 3S. Starship is a completely reusable rocket that is roughly 120 meters tall, having 9 meters diameter, 5,000 tons of weight, fully fueled, and capable of delivering around 7,500 tons of thrust during liftoff. Nonetheless, Starship production differs significantly from the procedures used by SpaceX to construct Falcon rockets. Instead of relying mainly on horizontal integration, meaning that the rockets are mostly produced horizontally, in the case of the Falcon rockets, the Starship and its Super Heavy booster are entirely manufactured vertically. Besides machining important load-bearing structures, Starship production begins with massive coils of thin 3-4mm stainless steel. SpaceX unspools the sheet metal with a unique tool, cuts off a 28 meter long strip and then welds the ends of that strip together to form a cylindrical barrel. If you repeat that process 57 times, you'll have enough rings to create a whole super heavy booster and the majority of the Starship. However, SpaceX stacks and welds those individual rings together to produce portions of 2, 3, 4 or 5 using more sophisticated equipment and that's the stainless steel body that forms the Starship. Each part is then outfitted with various cutouts, piping, reinforcements, vertical stringers or circumferential stiffeners, thrust structures, the plates that Raptor engines attach to, and other add-ons ready it for its unique duty. Most importantly, individual ring stacks are linked with huge steel domes welded together from prefabricated steel plates to form front, common and aft dome portions. Almost all ring, dome and nose assembly work are done in one of three gigantic tents that is the backbone of Starbase's Starship factory. SpaceX has constructed a series of gigantic open-air bays in which each Starship and rocket part is stacked in a specified order and welded together to form the fundamental structures of the Starship and Super Heavy. While SpaceX works to complete Starbase's biggest and tallest Starship assembly bay yet, the latest report focuses on Starbase's tents. After physically relocating a smaller but still substantial tent thought to be used for basic metalwork like laser or water cutting, presses and the rest of them, SpaceX has quickly broken ground and partially completed the foundation of a massive new building thought to be the beginning of an upgraded Starship facility that will be rather called the Star Factory. According to RGV Aerial Photography, SpaceX isn't just adding a fourth bigger permanent structure to the core three tent complex. 
Instead, it is said to plan to replace all of the Starbase's tents with a single 300,000 square foot structure that will be around 18 meters, 250 meters long and 120 meters wide. The tents at Starbase are nearly the same height, but because of their tented roofs, only a portion of that height can be used for ring work and only a fraction of the floor area can be used for taller nose work. In comparison, a 300,000 square foot facility would have almost double the covered floor space as Starbase's three tents, which could theoretically be utilized for ring and nose section construction. Indeed, with a mostly flat 18 meter ceiling, SpaceX could conceivably enlarge most stacks by a ring or two, reducing the number of sections and also stacking procedures required to create a Starship. Overall, while tents, or you can call them sprung structures, are unquestionably indefinite solutions for things like car manufacture, Starship production is one example, where a more permanent flat ceiling facility is undoubtedly preferable. SpaceX may now be confident enough in its current Starship manufacturing procedures to commit to developing Starbase's next evolution after more than two years of experience and data to draw upon. And again, if all goes as planned, SpaceX's massive Starship rocket for potential flights to Moon and Mars might enter orbit for the first time in only two months since the manufacturing process will be facilitated. SpaceX has already conducted several Starship test flights. Still, these have comprised prototype upper-stage vehicles powered by a maximum of three Raptor engines and flying just 6.2 miles above the ground. The upcoming orbital test flight will be the first launch of a Super Heavy and the first liftoff of a six-engine Starship. SpaceX successfully assembles a whole 400-feet Starship rocket using a trio of massive robot arms just ahead of Elon Musk's briefing on the future of the heavy lift launcher. It'll be the first update on the vehicle in nearly three years, and while no details on what Musk will say have been published, it will most likely contain information on the maiden orbital test flight for the next-generation rocket the maiden orbital flight for the Starship, which will return humans to the lunar surface and potentially one day carry more than 100 people at a time to Mars, is scheduled for March. That is why a lot has to be put into place to make everything work as planned without flaws. In Boca Chica, the company stacked a two-stage Starship rocket, with the top stage placed onto the Super Heavy booster by a set of robotic arms mounted to the 480-feet launch tower. This is the second time the entire Starship, the world's biggest launch vehicle prototype, has been built. SpaceX's ability to make use of the launch tower where it now stands is contingent on the FAA's clearance following a recent environmental review of how Starship launches might affect the surrounding region, particularly the crowded Boca Chica Beach neighborhood and the nearby Brownsville Township. During the new Star Factory construction process, if the FAA demands a more thorough environmental evaluation, Musk has stated that SpaceX may have to relocate operations to Florida and NASA's Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The FAA has previously approved its usage at these centers. If, on the other hand, the FAA grants certification in the coming weeks, Musk claims that the first Starship intended for Earth orbit will be ready to fly soon. In Elon's words, I believe we're on the verge of having the hardware ready to go. We're currently on pace to have regulatory permission and hardware ready around the same time. Both should be ready in a few months. Musk's presentation was too similar to a previous media event hosted by SpaceX in 2019, where he displayed the first Starship mock-up. Musk stated that a Starship is being created for various missions, including eventually enabling mankind to become a multi-planet species. In the near future, SpaceX intends to launch missions into Earth orbit and to the Moon, with the latter serving as NASA's preferred vehicle for landing the next American astronauts on the Moon's surface. Do you think the FAA will fold their hands and watch SpaceX enlarge Starbase without any disruption? Also, check on what desperate decision the FAA took to stop SpaceX Starship orbital test flight. You won't believe it!